Hi Andy, this is Hani from London. I thought I'd send you a um, expressions animation that I use um, when I'm trying to animate objects on a circular path. Uh, and it's fairly simple actually. So what I'm going to do is start with a 3D text here. And let's have it. That's fine. Let's change something more exciting like that. And change the size and make it slightly bigger. 100, there we go. Um, so what I can do is actually use some very simple trig functions. And it's basically in position X, I'll just do sign of the frame and a diameter of the circle. And do the same thing on the Y position and diameter again, but this time use cosine. And what I have is a very simple, but very quick circle. And what I can do to slow this down is actually slow down the frame keyword which all it does, of course, is just put in the current frame number into the um, into every frame. So if I say make it slower down by 10, divided by 10, then I've got a slower, more pleasant circle animation. Now, what I can do, what I like to do actually, is I like to have a, another axis that I use as a control uh, for the expressions. I like to house my expressions in here. It's almost like a, a variable. So what I'm going to do is reset this and in my control axis, put in the sine and the cosine functions. And in my axis, point it to the control position X and that is control position Y. And the reason why I like to do it is if I need to manipulate uh, or change the uh, expressions, like there's just one place, I, a central place I can go to change them instead of um, trying to track it down. And what I, I'm going to now, now what we have is, of course, we, it's running as we had it before, it's running the circle. Um, but what I can also do is uh, this 150 radius is actually hard coded. So let's make that more keyframeable. So if I point it to rotation x as a variable again, set to zero because it's zero right now, of course. And let's do the same thing with cosine. So now what I can do in rotation x, I can start it by say at 50 and it animates at the end of it to say 500. What we have now is a spiral. Fairly simple. And what I can also do is if I'd like to change the direction of the rotation, I can just say put a minus to or multiply by minus one for any of the channels. And you can see it's now going counterclockwise. And the same thing with say the cosine. going sorry that's going counterclockwise <laughs> sorry um, so yeah so that's my tip uh, and of course we can expand this with um, the Z position as well and we'll have like you can I've animated like like spherical paths and everything with that um, so that's my tip I hope you like it thank you bye stay safe everyone hi Andy Tani again I thought I'd might as well do one more for you before uh, my job starts tomorrow um, so this is to do with uh, the noise expression and the way kind of I've been using kind of uh, camera jitter and camera uh, shake is I thought of, this is I mean this is it's going to be quite basic but I thought I might as well show it to you anyway. Um, so what I'm going to do now is actually uh, in my axis, the control axis, sorry, that's why I like to place all of my expressions. Um, so what I'm going to do is just do a simple noise frame, say, times 100. And that gives me a noise expression. Um, so, and then what we're doing the Y is obviously not to use the same uh, um, noise because then we'll have the same, exactly the same profile. So it's just going to go, of course, just uh, like that. So what I do is I actually point to uh, the X channel again, but I look at it like 50 frames before, just give it a bit of variety. 
So eval position uh, x comma frame minus 50. And that gives me a different profile. So if you look what the, so that's what's happening. Um, so what I'm going to do now is actually in my axis itself, um, I'm going to point to control position x and this is control position y and now I've got that happening of course right it's a bit crazy so let's slow it down a bit um, so I'm going to do here is go I'm going to slow this down by going evaluate eval noise frame times 100 comma frame by fives just slow it down you can see and because the y is pointing to x I don't have to repeat the same uh, expression on the y channel they both update at the same time obviously and now we've got a smoother uh, um, bit of noise but what I also like to do is if I want to ramp this up ramp it down is use another channel here say in frame it's zero in frame one and it's one here in frame 50 and back to zero um, at frame 100. Now on my axis, I can do control.position.x times control.rotation.x. And the same here with y. So rotation x, of course, stays, this, stays the same. So what I have now is a ramp up and down of some noise animation. And it's all controlled, of course, by that, by this uh, curve. So I can add some more points, uh, like that, and drop this down, and then it's interactively just does all this crazy stuff for me. Uh, and you can see the how the how that looks. So it's quite simple, but um, there you go. Hope you like this. Thanks, mate. Cheers. Bye.